Good morning, happy Splatter Day to you. It is Splatter Day, May 9th. I am Coach Ryan, and I will be leading you through today's live at home OTF workout. Today's focus will be total body, and we got kind of a run row feel coming at you today. So if you're watching this later in the day, Facebook, YouTube, we'll get started with the dynamic warm up around the four ish, 430 mark in the video. Okay, we got a lot of fun today. What you'll need for today's workout? few things, you will need a set of medium size weights or objects, so medium size weight of objects, make sure they weigh approximately the same. You'll need a mat and towel. Um, you will also need a chair for today's workout. A chair because we have a strength block dedicated to chair strength, total body. And then also something that you can do step ups on. So it could be that same chair. If it's sturdy enough to support your weight, it could be steps, it could be a stool, it could be a bench, it could be a low sturdy toolbox, whatever. Make sure you have that chair and then make sure you have something elevated surface that you can perform step ups on. Okay, and we'll get started in a few minutes. If you're joining me live, good morning, happy Splatter Day. Hope you're having a great day so far. Beautiful day outside. We'll get you burning in here, and then we'll get you off on your merry way outside to enjoy the day. Get excited, team, with these at-home workouts. We have all-out mayhem that will be coming at you at the end of the month. So we just made a post on our Facebook page this morning about All Out Mayhem. But if you're familiar with Orange Theory, a couple years ago we started All Out Mayhem and uh, usually it's around the middle of May. Okay, this week, All Out, uh, this year, All Out Mayhem at Home Edition will be the last few days of May. Okay, some of the finest, finest at home workouts that you'll see. Okay, you go to shoporangetheory.com Okay, to register for your All Out Mayhem hat. But again, we put the details on our Facebook page this morning. But let me tell you what, I'm getting excited. I'm really excited about the at-home workouts at the end of the month. All Out Mayhem at Home Edition. Can't wait, okay? So if you're enjoying these workouts now, just imagine what the All Out Mayhem at Home workouts will be like. There we go. Can't wait, can't wait. And if you're joining me live, good morning to you. Welcome. Okay, what you'll need for today, again, you'll need a set of medium objects or weights. They should weigh roughly the same. You'll need a chair. Okay, the chair is important because we have a block dedicated to total body strength using the chair. And also, something that you can do step up for. So it can be that same chair. If it's sturdy enough to support your weight, it could be steps, it could be couch, it could be a stool, it could be a bench, whatever. Something that you can do step ups on along with that chair. Like I said, if it's the same chair, more power to you, okay? Couple more minutes, team, and then we'll go ahead and get started with the dynamic warm up. Hopefully everybody's having a good day, okay? Make sure you got your OTB heart rate monitors queued up, okay, because we have a run row type of block and we have a cardio endurance type of block today, okay? So a lot of fun, a lot of fun for this Friday morning coming at you, okay? I'm always excited. I get to the studio early, all right, before these workouts because I'm so pumped up. You know, I just can't stay home. I gotta get to the studio. I gotta get ready, okay? Because these workouts get me so pumped up, so excited, right? It's just, I, I can't stay still, okay? That's the energy that's going to you. So hopefully you'll see some of that energy, all right, coming at you today. Hopefully I can give you a little bit of my energy for today's workout, okay? It's gonna be a good one. If you're excited like Coach Ryan, give me a thumbs up, give me a like, give me a heart, something like that, okay? 
couple of you a few days ago gave me ha ha, you know, laughing at me. That's all right. If you laugh at Coach Ryan, I want to make sure you keep that same energy when we're about halfway through that cardio endurance block today. Okay? I got noon on my watch, so we'll go ahead and get started. Happy Saturday morning to you. It is May 9th, okay? I am Coach Ryan. I'll be leading you through today's OTF at home workout. Focus, total body. We have a run row field type of day coming at you. We have four blocks of work, and as always, we have a dynamic warm up to start and a flexibility block to end it. We start six minutes, we have six exercises that I'll demo real quick. We move each exercise for one minute, and then we'll roll right to block one. Your first exercise, alternating bent over T-spine rotation. So I want you to start in the set position. What is that? Shoulders on and back, navel in toward the spine, hips and glutes tight, hinge forward at the waist, arms straight out in front of you, and then nice and controlled, keeping the arms straight. We're going to open up, really open up those shoulders. We alternate one side at a time for one minute. Your next exercise, knee to elbow, set position, stand nice and tall, hands behind the head. We're going to drive one knee up, and then we're going to rotate the opposite elbow toward that knee. You're going nice and controlled as an option to reduce the range of motion if you're having trouble balancing. Your next exercise, standing star reach. We're going to start in a wide sumo squat-like stance, toes pointing forward, arms at shoulder height straight out. You're going to hinge forward at the waist, rotate from the waist as well and then you're rotating, trying to reach toward the opposite side ankle. Think like a deadlift, shoot your hips straight back when you rotate. Your next exercise, alternating toy soldiers. Start in that set position again, arms straight, out in front of you at about shoulder height, and we're gonna bring your legs, okay? Straight, reach up toward your hands, alternating sides as the option to reduce the range of motion. I don't want you to come up too high to where you start to lose your balance or lose your shoulders or your hips. You come up, to where your range of motion takes you. And then your next exercise, jump rope. So you don't have to have a jump rope. Okay, keep your elbows in, rotation comes at the wrist. Nice and controlled. You can alternate from side to side. You can go off two feet, option, okay? Slow it down a little bit, but still keep that motion going in the upper body. And then finally, the alternating power skip. We're gonna drive one knee up, bring up the opposite side arm, and then we're gonna make it dynamic, coming off the toe of the opposite side leg. As an option, high knee march, but still raise up the opposite side arm. One minute each, okay? And then we'll get started with block number one, okay? We're gonna start with the alternating bent over T-spine rotation in three, two, and one. Set position, hinge forward, and then rotate. Keep your eye gaze at the floor. You go at your own pace here, as I like to say. We use these warm-ups to start to get blood flow to the working muscles that we use for the workout and also start to raise our core body temperature and connect our minds to our bodies through our muscles. Halfway. Now as you raise, exhale. As you rotate up. Hands forward, back flat. Really open up those shoulders here. 15 seconds before we go to the knee to elbow. All right, knee to elbow in three, two, one. Set position, hands behind the head. As you drive one knee up, rotate the opposite side elbow toward that knee. Nice and controlled. Again here, you're going at your pace. The focus here, control, and as we start to wake up our body. Total body work today, so a lot of these warm-up movements are targeting the entire body, such as this one. Upper body and the legs. Remember, take your time, exhale. Drive the knee up. 15. Yes, team. Standing star reach in three, two, and one. Wide stance, like a sumo squat. Arms out, straight. Inch forward at the waist. As you reach toward the opposite side, heel. Shoot the hips back like a deadlift. Return 
pause, reset at center, and then switch sides. Halfway. Remember, as we work, team, these warm up movements start to get your mind right. Start to get ready for the work that's ahead of you. You got any doubts? Make a thought? Get them out right now. You know my rule. Well, I have a lot of rules. One of them no negative thoughts today, your team. Three, two, Toy soldiers, set position, arms out, and then again, straight legs, you raise them. Okay, go to your range of motion. You don't want to go too high to where you start to lose balance or rock back or lean back the upper body. Go to your range of motion where you can stay balanced and under control. Exhale, and you drive the legs up. Halfway. Tip for balance team. Keep your eyes on the same spot throughout this minute. There's a balance component here. Keep your eyes in one spot. 15 seconds. There we go. Jump rope three, two. Let's jump it up, team. We got that imaginary jump rope. We can go off both feet like this. We can skip side to side. Whatever. Okay. If you have any orthopedic issues, keep it at a double calf raise as you move. But Coach Ryan loves jumping rope. Okay, elbows in. You don't want to really move the arms a lot. That's inefficient with the jump rope. Keep the shoulders, arms nice and loose, elbows in. That rotation comes for the forearm wrist. 30 more seconds till we go to the power skip, and then we'll get started. This is where we're getting those heart rates up, starting to increase our body temperature with these last two warm up movements, getting blood flow to the entire body. 15 seconds. And get excited. Get those smiles on your face, team. Get ready. Positive attitude, positive energy. Three. Two, alternating power skip. Last minute here. Remember, whatever knee goes up, drive through with the opposite arm. Remember option, high knee march. Exhale, coming up. Yes, team. You're ready. I know you're missing those rowers. I know you're missing those trans bikes and striders. 30 more seconds, okay? So we got a little, little run row simulation here in today's work. So get ready for that. Get excited, team, come on. 15 seconds. work today. This first block is eight minutes long. You have four movements. The focus is total body strength using the chair. So you will need your chair, bring it out. You will also need whatever you're going to do with your step up so far. So I have a bench here to step up on. If you can step up using that same chair, great. Okay. We start with those step ups for eight each leg. Okay. Shoulders on the back, set position before we stand up to that chair, stool, whatever. We're going to stay all on the same side. So eight all on one leg and then eight on the other leg. Your next exercise, tricep dip. Here's where you need that chair team, okay? We're going to have the hands behind your back, right under the shoulders. Extend those legs out just so that your butt clears the chair. And then we're going to bend at the arms at 90 degrees, bring the lower body down, and then drive power through the chair using your palms, keeping your elbows in to come up rather than using your upper body, I mean the lower body to come up. As an option, reduce the range of motion or you can bring your feet in a little bit closer to your butt. Next, for 16 reps, tap squat. 
So start the set position, weight back to the heels, tap your butt down to that seat, and then drive up, okay? Try not to sit all the way down, just tap your butt and then drive to the heels to come up. And then finally, incline mountain climber for 16 total. We're gonna start in a high plank position, using your chair, hands under your shoulders, butt down, feet about hip width apart, nice high plank. We're gonna drive the knees toward the chest, coming up to about hip level, but every rep, we're gonna add a slight pause, every rep. The pause there will challenge the core, so you must brace your core, all right, to hold that pause. I'm gonna tempo those reps to challenge your core. Okay, we're here for eight minutes. We're running through those exercises until time is called. Let's get set. You don't need no weights, just need your chair, step, whatever you got. We're gonna start with the step ups, okay? I'm gonna tempo my reps. Try to stay with me, you can go at your own pace, but I'm gonna tempo the reps, because again, if you know me, time under tension, that's where it's at. In three, two, let's go. One, two, stay on the same leg. Exhale up, four, five, come on, six, seven, and eight. Let's switch legs, one. Make sure your heel, two, comes on that chair step, stool or bench, three. Push with the heel, four, stand tall, five, six, two more, seven, Eight, all right, here we go. We're going to the tricep dip for 16. These are a lot of reps. So again, you need the option, reduce the range of motion or bring the legs in closer to your butt. Let's go down and up for one, down, up for two, down, up three, down, up four, down, up five, down, up six, down, up seven, down, up eight, down, come on. Up nine, down, try to stay with me. Up 10, down. Up 11, down. Up 12, down. Up 13, down, come on. 14, down. Up 15, one more, down. Up 16, all right. Set position, right in front of that chair. Shoulders back, down and back. They went towards the spine. Hips and glutes tight. Down, tap, up for one. Down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, ten. Six more. Down, eleven, down, twelve, down, thirteen. Down, 14, down, 15, one more, down, 16, down. The incline mountain climber, remember, we're gonna have a slight pause every rep. High plank, step position, and let's go. From one, two, three, four, five, six, brace the core, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16. Round one, done, okay? So, a couple challenges here. If you wanna hold their objects during the step ups and the object at the chest with tap squat, you can, but this is all body weight. I'm gonna roll right to the next round. Step ups, three, two, one, up, for one, up, two, there we go. Three, drive to the heel, come on, four, five, Six, seven, one more, and eight. Let's switch legs. One, two, three. Step up all the way. Four, get tall at the top. Five, six, two more. Seven, eight, there we go. To the dip. Now again, I tip all these reps to challenge you. So again, I challenge you to stay with my tempo here and try not to rush through these dips to make your upper body work harder. Let's go down. And up, one, down. Up, two, down. 
Up three, shoulders back, down. Up four, chest lifted, down. Up five, down. Up six, down. Up seven, down. Up eight, down. Up nine, down. Up ten, down. Come on, fight the burn. Up eleven, down. Up 12, option, down. Up 13, feet in, down. Up 14, down. Up 15, one more, down. Up 16, oh! Feeling the back still arms, those triceps. Set position in front of the chair. Tap squat, down. One, down. Two, down. Three, down. Four, down. Five, down. Six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, ten, six more, down, eleven, down, twelve, down, thirteen, down, fourteen, down, fifteen, one more, down, sixteen. All right, so that incline mountain climber, remember we had that slight pause, challenge, brace your core, Navel and torque the spine for that pause. Three, two, one. Let's go for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, and sixteen. Whew. Round two is done. Again, with that, as opposed to going quickly, using momentum, slowing it down a little bit. That pause, challenge that door. There we go. Back to the step ups. Let's drive up. One. Stay on the same leg. Two. All throughout. Three. Four. Five. Six. Two more. Seven. And eight. Switch leg. One. Two. Three. Tall. Four. Drive to the heel. Five, six, seven, and eight. Here we go. Back to those dips. Again, I'm challenging you with slowing down here, especially on the dip. Again, if you need an option, reduce the range of motion, okay? Or bring your legs closer to your butt. But try to lift and push through the chair. Don't lift your upper body, your lower body. Don't lift here. Push through the chair. Down. Up, one, down, up, two, down, up, three, down, up, four, down, up, five, down, up, six, down, up, seven, down, up, eight, half, down, up, nine, down, up, ten, down, up, eleven, down, up, 12, down. Come on, fight the burn. Up, 13, down. Up, 14, down. Up, 15, down. Come on. Up, 16, hold. We got about 30 more seconds here. Tap squat, set position. Down, up for one. Down, two, down, three, down, four, down, five, down, six, down, seven, down, eight, down, nine, down, 10, down, 11, down, 12, down, 13, down, 14, down, 15, down, 16, and that's time, team. Eight minutes. Awesome job. Grab a drink, catch your breath a little bit, stay up and tall as you catch your breath. And I'm gonna demo your next block for you. You can remove your chair, get out of the way. We won't need it for the remainder of the workout. This next block of work is nine minutes. We got four timed exercises that we'll do for three rounds. This will be the run row situ uh, simulation. So we'll have one exercise, cardio, which is the run. Next exercise, the row, which will mimic the muscles used throughout that row. We start. One minute of broad jump to shuffle. Set position, okay? Weight back in the heels, squat. Drive back with your arms. 
So explode forward and then shuffle back. Use the arms as you shuffle back. You're trying to land the same spot each rep. Option, big step forward and then shuffle back. Next exercise, the row, where we're hinging at the waist, focusing on that core hinge, a little bit of arms. Good morning to tricep kickback. Take your medium sized objects, start in set position. Hammer curl the dumbbells up. Now this is your starting position. Now hinge forward at the waist, keep the elbows up, back flat. Drive the dumbbells straight back, come up, and repeat. As an option, like those objects, or stay in that hip hinge tricep kickback. Your next 30 seconds, we're going back to the tread, micro strider, 30 seconds, high knee. Opposite arm and leg drive up, option, high knee march. And then your next 30 seconds, back to row. Legs, core and arm, sumo squat to upright row. Take your objects in front of your legs, legs wide, toes pointing forward, shoulders back, navel toward the spine. Weight back in the heels as you squat, and then just like the row, where most of your power comes from your legs, use the power from your legs to help drive the dumbbells up, palms face your body to about chin height, elbow wide. So think of it as one fluid motion. Option, reduce the range of motion on the squat and or the upright row, okay? Time, okay? We got three rounds of those four movements. Let's get set. You can queue up your video if you need a reference team. Okay, this will be nine minutes, run row, get those heart rates up. We start with one minute of the run, broad jump to shuffle, and three, two, and one, let's roll, okay? Set position, use the arms, shuffle back. You go at your own pace here, think of this as a push effort. Go, try to land in the same spot, each rep. I have a target, I have my mat on the floor, so I'm trying to land the same spot, each rep. Halfway, 30 seconds. Use those arms as you shuffle back. Soft landing, stick the landing before you shuffle. Let's go, that's 14, come on, go on. All right, we're going to the rover. Three, two, good morning, try to step kick back. Set position, and we'll curl the objects up, and forward, kick back, elbows up, and back, all right? Now, this is the rover. So we're focusing on that hinge. When you hinge team, shoulders down and back, back flat, Poke the butt out. Keep the elbows up with those objects. Halfway. And like on the rower, run row. Try to control your breathing here. And you get to that rower. Back flat. Think of this hand just like a deadlift team. Keep a nice good stretch in the hamstrings and glutes as well. Here we go. In three, two, back to the run, high knee. 30 seconds, go on. Move those arms, the more of your body that moves, the more calories you burn, and the higher you get those heart rates, so come on. Focus on moving those arms as well, come on. 15. Breathe, just like I am. Three, two, grab those objects. Sumo squat, upright row. This one's a little quicker, not as controlled. Use the legs to help you get the dumbbells up. 15, before we go back to the broad jump to shuffle. That's it, team. Shoulders down and back. Three, two, one. Back to the broad jump to shuffle. No transition. Right into the next round. Now remember, 
just like when I'm running around the studio. We want to try to maintain our effort. So I'm trying to stay consistent, stay moving, and try to land same spot all throughout. Halfway. If you need an option, take it. But your goal, keep moving. Fifteen seconds. Come on, you got this. Yes, you can. Again, I told you, get the negative thoughts out of your mind. Yes, you can. In three, two. Good morning. Try to keep back. Okay. Now, this row. Again, focusing on that hip hinge from the core. Twenty percent that row. Okay. It's from the core. Last 20 is from the arms. Bring it here. Get your breath under you a little bit. Exhale. Drop the objects back. Halfway. And we're also halfway through the block team. So at that halfway point, we know. Don't turn around. We're in it to win it. Come on, 15. Yes, come on. Yes. Back to the tread black or stride. High knee, three, two, one. Right back to the high knee, come on. Again, option, high knee march. Stay moving. Stay with it. I'm here with you. Come on, I can see you. You can see me. Come on, 15 seconds before we go back to the rower. So we'll spot the upright row. Three, two, one. Grab those objects. So we'll spot upright row. We're gonna use the legs. A little quicker tempo versus strength day. Come on. 15, stay with it, stay tall, try not to hunch over, way back in the heels. In three, two, last round, broad jump to supple, come on. This is the final round team, last round, consistent round. Turn around now. Notice here, you hear me breathing, you should do the same. Consistent, consistent movement, halfway. Consistently landing in the same spot. Yes. Focus, stay in the work. Stay in the work, team. Good team. Yes, yes, come on, come on. In three, two, one. Back to the rower. Good morning. Try to step kickback. Good morning, team, with this run row workout. Come on. Good morning. Good afternoon. Now we're fatigued. So as we fatigue, focus. Shoulders back. Back flat. Hips and glutes tight. Poke your butt out a little bit as you hinge. Halfway. Exhale. Drop those objects back. Again, when you hinge, you really get a good stretch in those glutes and hamstrings. Get them activated. We're coming up on the last minute. Back to the tread bike strider. High knee. Three, two. Back to the high knee, come on. Last 30 here of high knee. Come on. 
Yes. No. Don't you quit. Don't you turn around on me or yourself. Come on. 15. Back to the rower. Three, two, sumo squat. Upright row. Last round. Come on. Come on, use those legs. Just like the rower. Drive through the leg. 15. Chest up, shoulders back. Three, two, time. Oh, awesome run row team. And this bump, high five. Stay tall. Again, as you grab a drink, as you tie off, stay up tall. Deep breaths in, into the nose, out through the mouth. There we go. Find that urge to want to hunch over. Your body recovers better in that standing tall position. Trust me, team. Now, catch your breath. I'm going to demo next block of work for you. It's going to be a five minute core block. Three exercises we rotate through until time is called. Your first movement bird dog. Okay? So grab your mat if you have it. We start in tabletop position. Back flat, should the waist pull back. Hands under the shoulders, and then you're going to extend. Opposite arm and leg, we're going to stay all on one side. 10 on one side, 10 the other. Option, reduce the range of motion. But think about lengthening your body, okay, as you work. Next movement, back extension to lat pull down for 10. On your belly, arms start out in front of you, straight and extended, legs extended. Bring the chest off the floor, arms up and then pull, drive the elbows toward your rib cage and sides. Keep the chest up and back down. Option again here, reduce the range of motion. And then finally, swimmer on your belly. We're gonna lift opposite arm and leg and then rotate and then go in a nice good tempo, opposite arm and leg. Again, we're gonna work through these three movements for five minutes, team. Okay, so let's get set. Towel off a little bit if you need to. Go try and get a little sweaty. I need to towel off a little bit. I tend to make a mess. We're gonna start with the dirt bird dog. Remember, we're gonna do 10 all on one side and then 10 on the other. Three, two, and one. Try to stay with me. Reach and back. Reach, back two. Reach, back three. Reach. Back four, reach, lengthen. Back five, reach. Back six, reach. Back seven, reach. Back eight, reach. Back nine, reach. And back 10, let's switch. Okay, whatever side that's on the floor, push through the floor on that arm that's on the floor. Let's reach. Back one, reach. Back two, reach. Back three, reach, eye gaze to the floor. Back four, reach. Back five, reach. Back six, reach. Back seven, reach. Back eight, reach. Back nine, reach, extend. Hold for a little bit, back for 10. There we go, all right. On your belly, remember back extension up uh, to the lat pull now. Let's go up, stay up. Put arms back, forward, and down for one. Up, back, forward, down for two. Up, back, forward, down for three. Up, back, forward, down for four. Up, back, forward, down for five. Up, back, squeeze, forward, down for six. Up, back, forward, down for seven. Up, back, forward, down for eight. Up, back, forward, down for nine. Up, back, forward, down for 10. All right, 
Same position to start. Swimmer. Three, two, one. Upper one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Here we go. I made a pool of sweat on my mat. I don't know about you. Here we go. Back to that bird dog here. Okay. Let's extend and back for one. Extend. Back for two. Extend. Back for three. Extend. Back for four. Extend. Back for five. Extend. Back six. Extend. Back seven. Extend. Back eight. Extend. Back for nine. Extend. Hold. And back for ten. Let's switch sides. Three, two, one. Extend. Back for one. Extend. Back for two. Extend. Back for three. Extend. Back for four. Extend. Back for five. Extend. Back six. Extend. Back seven. Extend. Back eight. Extend. Nine. One more. Extend. Hold. And back. Here we go. All right. Let's get on our belly. I'm going to wipe my sweat a little bit here. I'm making a mess. Okay. Extension to pull down. Three, two, one. Let's go up, back, forward, down for one, up, back, forward, down for two, up, back, forward, down for three, up, back, forward, down for four, up, back, forward, down for five, up, back, forward, down six, up, back, forward, down for seven, up, back, forward, down for eight, up, back, forward, down for nine, up, back, forward, down for 10. Same starting position, swimmer, three, two, one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. All right, we got about, about 30 seconds in the block. Let's go bird dog, but let's switch and let's alternate sides to keep it even. Extend, back, switch sides, back, switch sides, back. We got 20 seconds, so let's keep alternating here to keep our sides even and bounce. Here we go. Extend, extend. Extend, extend one more, and extend. That's time, five minutes to move. All right. Nice job. Again, core work is important, team. You slow the heart rate down, but the core is important. That's your foundation for everything you do, your workouts, your daily activities. That's why it's important not to neglect it. We all focus on the front part of the abs. That block focuses more so on the posterior part of the core. We need that as well. Very good for maintaining better posture. All right, final block of work. Eight minutes. This will be a cardio endurance block. So we're gonna have intervals, like the tread, bike for strider. Push, base, all out. Your push exercise is walk out to push up, okay? You start standing, your feet stay in a fixed position. So keep your feet in the same spot. Walk out to the high plank, keeping your legs as straight as you can, hands under shoulders, butt down, push up, back to the high plank. As an option, knees to push up, back to the high plank. And then while keeping your legs as straight as you can, walk your hands back to your feet, stand it up, and re repeat, okay? Your base movement is alternating reverse lunges. Set position, feet hip width apart, your feet are on railroad tracks. As you step one leg back, drive up the opposite arm, and we alternate. Here you stay tall, catch your breath. Option, reduce the range of motion. Any orthopedic issues with knees, you can also take it to an easy bodyweight squat, okay? We have two minute push, one minute base, two minute push, one minute base, and then the end of the block, a one minute push to a one minute Running man all out. 
High plank position. Keep that high plank. Drive the knees toward the chest. Your knees come to about hip level, not all the way up toward the chest. Option, slow it down. As well, you have a chair. You have that elevated surface. You can have your hands on that elevated surface as another option, okay? This will be our cardio endurance finish line team, okay? Let's get set. Now remember, the push, two minutes here, walk out the push up. You're trying to set a pace that you can maintain to keep moving. So if you need the option, take it. But you're setting a pace that you can maintain for the entire two minutes. And remember, keep your feet in the same spot and then keep your legs as straight as you can as you walk your hands back and forth. We begin team, three, two, one, let's roll. Feet fixed, legs straight, walk it out. Hit that high plank, push up, and then walk it back. You're going at your pace here for two minutes. When you get to that high plank, give a good pause, set that high plank, and then either push up or walk it back. And again, you're keeping your feet in the same spot. Try to keep your legs as straight as you can as you walk the hands back and forth. At the top, breathe. Here we go. A little anaerobic movement to get the heart rates up. That's why we're sustaining it here for two minutes. Speaking of that, we're about halfway to this two minute push up. Come on. Again, make adjustments here if you need to. If you need to take the option, do it. You want to keep moving for the entire two minutes. Best you can. When you get to the standing position, one or two good breaths before going back. You got about 30 here before you take the base. Yes. Come on, team. Come on. Almost there. 15 seconds. In three, two, base pace, lunges. All right, alternate reverse lunges. So just like on the tread bike or strider, you're trying to maintain base. So get your breath under you. Okay, challenging but doable. Check in with yourself, just like on that push. Set a challenging but doable effort. They can maintain. So you can catch your breath and continue to work. Breathe. More than halfway through base. Yes. Let's work for it. 15 before we get another two minute push. If you're a counter, if you were counting your reps, goal, see if you can shoot for the same amount of reps that you got. Three. Two, push, two minutes. Set position, let's roll. Remember, if you were counting, if you were counting your reps, you have a target rep count number to match. I'm not asking you to beat. I'm asking you to get as close as you can to matching. If you were counting your reps. Come on. Yes. If you weren't counting reps, your goal, stay moving. Try to keep us close to the same pace as you can for this round. Here we go again. Try to keep the legs straight. Slight pause at the high plank. Walk it back. Let's keep fighting, team. This is a fight. Come on, you're tough. This is a fight, and we're in it together. We're more than halfway through that push. 
So I gotta say, once we're halfway, we're committed. We're in it. No turning around. Cool. Yes. Remember, take the option to knees for the push up if you need it. 30 seconds. Good reps. Maintain movement. Come on, keep fighting for 15. About one or two more reps. Come on. Come on. In three, two, face, face, come on. Yes, you can. One minute. Again, set that challenging, but do effort. We got less than three minutes, come on. You've been with me, I like to say, you've been with me this entire time. We're close to that finish. So don't you dare give up on yourself. Don't give up on me, most importantly, don't give up on yourself. The hard work, 30 seconds, the hard work will pay off. Trust me. Fighting through this period, as we're all doing here, it will pay off. We will all come out tougher and stronger. Come on, 15. And then we have a one minute push, one minute all out to end it. Goal, if you were counting reps, try to match half your rep count. Match or even slightly beat. Three, two, push, one minute, come on. This is it, finish line, you can see it, you can feel it, you can taste it, let's sprint through it. Yes, come on, do it, don't stop. Don't talk yourself out of it. Do it, halfway. Come on, 15. And then we have a running man all out for one minute. In three, two, running man all out, come on. This is it, last minute. Set a pace that you can maintain. Option, okay, slow it down, or if you need it, grab that elevated surface if you need it, okay? And keep moving, come on. Come on, keep fighting here with me, team. We got 30 seconds. I'm here with you, come on. Focus on that high plank. Shoulders down the back. 15, fight. Fight for it, fight the burn. Three. Two, one, get up, get up, come on, into the nose, out to the mouth, guess what, smile, smile through it, you're done, okay, stay up, stay up tall, again, you know my rule, if you're a regular, stay up tall, into the nose, out to the mouth. Amazing, amazing job, team. I love that workout. Get a good upper body pump with that last block. Good upper body pump and a good cardio pump in that last block. A plus, A plus. That was amazing, team. Now, before we stretch, grab your chair. You're gonna need your chair again for the stretch. And again, stay up. And we allow our life before we stretch. Control the breathing, let the heart rates 
come down a little bit before we stretch. Awesome, awesome job, team. If you're thinking, man, if this is the regular at home workouts, what's all out mayhem gonna be like? Well, guess what? I'm thinking the same thing too. <laughs> there we go. All right, team. We got three stretches. We're gonna use the chair for all of them. We're gonna start with the standing lat stretch, okay? So with that core block, where we had our arms extended, working the lats, all right, posterior part of the upper body, I want you to have your hands on the back of your chair at the top of it, okay? Keep your arms extended, walk your legs out so your back is flat when you're making like the number seven. And here, we're gonna extend here and hold for about 20 seconds. Just get this stretch right in the back part of your upper body, posterior part. Breathe in three, two, and one. All right, team. Next stretch, standing hamstring stretch. So with the seat of your chair, let's place one heel on that seat, shoulders back, a little bit toward the spine, hinge forward, reaching toward the heel. We're gonna hold here for 20 seconds in three, two, one. I don't want you to round your shoulders. Keep your shoulders out and back. Okay, hips and glutes tight, they lift toward the spine. You go to that range of motion to where you keep those anchors and get a stretch in the back of the legs. 15 seconds, or five seconds. Three, two, and relax. Let's switch sides. In three, two, one. Again, you don't want to round your shoulders. You go to a point right before you start to round your shoulders. Get a stretch right in the back of the legs here. 10 more seconds. Amazing work. Amazing work today. Three, two, and one. Finally, figure four is this fun twist. Here, have a seat. Okay? Have a seat. Let's take one leg. Okay, I have my left leg. It's going to appear on the video that I'm crossing my right leg, but it's actually my left leg, okay? So, make sure your heel or ankle is over right below the knee of the foot that's on the floor. Push through this knee here, okay? And can turn toward the opposite side. Let's hold here for 20 seconds. It's nice to have a seat every once in a while in the workouts, huh, team? Okay, feels good. Get a good stretch right in the side of the hip and glute of that leg that's crossed over. Three, two, and one. Let's switch. Ankle right below the knee. The leg that's on the floor. Push down this leg and rotate. Breathe here. Into the nose. Out to the mouth. Ten more seconds. Three, two, and one. Team, we are VUN done. Amazing, amazing job, team. Happy Splatter Day. You can go on and get on with your beautiful, beautiful day outside. Amazing job. If you have any questions, comment on the video. Remember, this is posted on our Facebook page, and it will be on YouTube within the hour. Happy Splatter Day. I hope you enjoy your weekend. I will see you here, same time, same place, tomorrow. All right, better stay in school, don't do drugs, don't do anything I wouldn't do. Drop sober, get pulled over, stay alive, don't text and drive, click your ticket, exit detection, only you, your event wildfires, Wakanda forever. Be a thinker, not a stinker, and don't get arrested. May the force be with you and live long and prosper. Now, may the odds be forever in your favor. Fake like a tree, leave, get out of here. Don't run with scissors, that's a hazard. You can poke your eye out, that's not safe. Here's a fist pump, here's a high five to you, but stay six feet away from me, and please, 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 wash your hands and don't drink Clorox. Get out of here, you crazy.